Do you want to save time? Make a bloody template. Then that could apply for all kinds of things, but today we'll use that within Ableton Live. Answering a quick question, how to make a template in Ableton. Short version, file, save live set as default set, or file, save live set as template. So here I'm rocking Ableton Live 11. The newest one is 12, but here in 11, I go to file, save live set as default set. Now, when you save it to as default set, whenever you open up Ableton, boom, it's right there. And out the gate, you don't have to be like super fancy and like genre specific. Like one thing I use just to have, like this right here is my easy on the computer template. So I just got a track, I'll sometimes throw drums on, a voice for me talking right now with a little uh, preset to get rid of the air conditioner sound because it's summer here in New Jersey. So without this, Bruce Free, you might, if you got headphones or a good, you can hear that air conditioner now, but yeah, I can have this kind of, so I can analyze that and then take it out. Boom. So I just got my voice, that and the compressor. And we're just trying to get that so it sounds good for, you know, sending to OBS or, you know, recording out tutorially stuff. It's almost like a tutorially template. And I just got my piano here ready to go. So you can see a little clipping. So there's some issues with probably this gain being too high, things like that. So but let me show you another like quick. So this is when I hit save as default set. So again, it's as simple as file, save as default set. But you can do file, save live set as template. So you can do, I'll just call it light on CPU too. You know, I, I'm gonna definitely get more organized with this and study from some other great templates out there. But one other one I used to have in the past, which was raging, just absolutely all of the instruments, way too many instruments, but it was, it was nice to have like on deck, like a whole bunch of different sounds. So that one was, I think I called it like too busy. Oh, here we go, too busy. Oh, too big. So April, 2024, too big template. So I'm gonna load this up and might use my vo lose my voice, but I'll show you how you can hear my voice even without Ableton. Because if you turn this off, you can't hear it. But there's another way I'll show you as that's loading. So let's hit that, get it start loading. Boom, now you're back to hearing this. And then this is without the processing. So my voice probably got quieter. Maybe you can hear more of the air conditioner or maybe it's just so quiet you can't hear much at all. But yeah, this too big template is loading up right now. All right, we got it now. So now you can hear me double. So I'm just gonna mute this in total mix. Whoopsies. So when I muted myself there. I muted myself for the rest of the video. So I'll quickly recap just a few things that are in this template I sometimes use when I don't mind being more CPU intensive. So there's lots of lots of instruments in here ready to go. Still the voice and the piano are ready to go, but we've got some more instruments like uh, electric keys and a guitar. And what's helpful about that is like it's loaded into a specific track right here at channel 17. That's where my guitar can be plugged in, bass guitar, and then the audio track is selected for where that one is. So that's helpful with the template. And this big one here is useful. It's like a, a group containing all of the drum kit, right? Because over there, I got this uh, hybrid electric acoustic drum set, right? And so with that, and with that, it's uh, nice to have everything all templated out as far as like, okay, this is the hi-hat mic, this is the kick mic, snare mic, blah, blah, blah. And the toms and crash, I have uh, electric, which is kind of an interesting setup. Anyway, I also got a synth bass in there, ready to go. And uh, some finger drums. You're feeling too lazy to do the real drum kit. And then, yeah, organ, already set with the mod wheel mapped to Leslie speed. That's useful. My favorite one, the Moog. Oh, the Moog, which is not right here. I need to set that sucker back up. The Moog sounds great. We'll add some leads, add some reverb, and you know, Omnisphere, a little bit of synth pad. Let me go back to display. And this loopback track is very interesting because you've got yourself anything on the computer, right? So here you see my voice going into there. There could be anything from your computer sound essentially just uh being routed into there in case for some quick sampling shenanigans all right now what's also helpful about this last thing i'll say is that you have the i have a reverb right here so definitely recommend your template having a few return tracks set up for like simple like reverbs or delays and you could change them per track but i just start off for example i have this uh valhalla vintage verb loaded up like two three second decay and nice Nice little big size-ish. And then, so let's say I attach that to this Omnisphere. Here's a re really dry Omnisphere. Add some verb. Yeah, 
I got some clipping to work on, but you get the idea. And then the, the, the delay you can add in. So that's nice to have the reverb and delay kind of ready to go. There's different things you can add on to your return tracks, but hope that was helpful. Just get yourself a little template saved up. Short version, as I said in the beginning, file, save live set as default set or file save live set as template. And then what you add into there, it's like, what do you find yourself commonly going to? What do you, what tasks do you find yourself doing again and again? Add some of those into your template so you can spend more time on the creative part and less time on the minutia, the, oh yeah, add track, vocal, okay, what channel was that, two, okay. Add your guitar, what was that, channel 17, holy crap, big interface. So there's different ways you can kind of save time like that. Hope I answer your question. If you enjoy tips like this, hop into our music lab. We got a free school community kind of talking about different ways we combine music and tech and help you out with your performance and production needs and got a cool community of people helping each other out. And I hope to catch you around. Peace.